Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're going to talk about using fine tip Gundam markers for adding panel line details to your model kits. Now it's something that you can do very easily, it doesn't take a whole lot of time, and it adds some really nice detail to your kits without, again, using a whole lot of effort. So here I have the fine tip Gundam markers, these are number 200 in black, gray, and brown, and I recommend having a set of all three colors as these are the main colors that will come in handy for panel lining your kits. We'll get into a demonstration of how to use them, but for a quick explanation of why you use three colors, basically brown you will use for any area areas that are red or orange or yellow. Gray you'll use for areas that are very light, like white or like a very light gray or something like that. You can still see this gray on top of that. Black you'll use in areas that are blue or any darker color areas or on like gray parts of the frame, you can use the black for that. Those are of course just general suggestions. You can be stylistic and use whatever colors you want for different areas. If you're new to using them, I recommend maybe testing them out on some scrap parts first to see what looks best for you. But these are really simple to use. As you can see, it's got a very fine tip. So all you're gonna do is just take this through your panel line areas and you can be fairly liberal with it and don't worry if you end up making a bit of a mess. Like you can see I went out of the lines here and for areas like this where it's a pretty flat and wide open area, the easiest way I've found personally to clean these up is just to use your thumb. Just wipe that and it should wipe away the excess plenty that it's going to look nice and clean. Your line will be nice and sharp and that's really all you need to do. Switching to the gray marker to line this area here where these are actually raised details. So rather than like filling in a line, we're just going to be tracing around the edges of this raised detail here. And also these four little square sections here. And again, you can see I'm being pretty messy with it, which is fine. So as for cleaning that up, there's really many, many ways that you could do it and people have a lot of different methods. One method that people use is to just use a simple rubber eraser. Sometimes that'll work just fine just for cleaning that up. But what you may find is that your eraser, depending on the shape of it, may have a hard time reaching into those kind of hard to reach areas. So you can get some cleanup in some places, but it's having a hard time getting down into there. Another method you could use would be putting a very little bit of lighter fluid on the end of a Q-tip or a cotton swab. This tends to work pretty well, but you do have to be careful with it. Number one, you don't want to use too much liquid, so you have to make sure that you only have a little bit and it can be a bit messy sometimes you'll wipe away more than you want to depending on the look that you're going for but this can work pretty well and as you can see that cleaned up pretty nicely leaving us just a little bit of defining edge along there just with that gray so it's subtle nothing too stark in contrast for these yellow vent sections I'm just gonna fill those in with some brown and then I'll show you my absolute preferred method when it comes to just throwing some quick and simple panel lining on an unpainted kit it's actually really quite simple. And honestly, all it is is just going back to the thumb method. So just using your thumb or finger, whatever you need to just kind of wipe away. And just on this bare plastic, it usually tends to work pretty much just fine. But say you have some kind of hard to reach areas where you just can't really get your thumb or finger or whatever into there. What you can use is just a toothpick. And honestly, you just kind of use your toothpick to just kind of scrape that away and you're not really scraping so much sort of but the toothpick being wood is not going to damage the plastic at all but it's just going to sort of wipe away the marker a bit and it'll clean it up quite nicely. So as you can see that works really well to just kind of help define some of the details here around on the kit. Like here for the legs you can just see a huge difference between this all white leg and then just having a little bit of lines defined on there helps a lot. For these larger vent sections like here on the knee that's something that you're going to have a hard time. You could just color that in with the black on the marker. If you're alright with how that looks that might be something you may want to just put a little paint in or you could use the included sticker in this particular example. But I hope that's helpful guys. Just a quick introduction to how you can use Gundam markers to add some detail to your unpainted kits or I guess more accurately to help bring out the detail in your kits but like I said I recommend having a black a gray and a brown on hand they all come quite in handy if you have any questions feel free to leave those down in the comment section below but for now guys thanks so much for checking out the video we'll see you next time bye bye